Here's another one. Another film I got was The Other Guys. A lot of my friends didn't like this film. I actually did. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, Sam Jackson and The Rock were hilarious in it. And, you know, the yeah, the their scenes are, even though they're only in it for a little bit, they're, they're hilarious. And Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg are hilarious also. I never knew that Mark Wahlberg would be so funny. But definitely worth checking out. I love this. I actually really like this movie a lot. Um, in the spirit of the holidays, even though the holidays are over now, I got uh, Adam Sandler's A Crazy Night. I had never seen this film, and I always wanted to see it for the, the longest time. And I finally got to see it, and I thought it was pretty funny. It was really short. Um, it's only like 76 minutes. It really seemed shorter than that. Uh, but a really funny movie. Just check it out if you haven't seen this. Uh, Eight Crazy Nights. Uh, a TV show I used to watch a lot as a kid. Um, I just absolutely love this, especially on TGIF Fridays. Uh, ABC would host this thing, and they used to play Boy Meets World. I got the first season, I got the second season, and I got the third season. Uh, all great. I love this show so much. Uh, so I hadn't seen the, I haven't seen this yet, but I am definitely gonna sit down and just watch them all one day. It's one of my favorite shows growing up. Um. Another thing I got here was the Star Wars Trilogy uh, box set Family Guy style, of course, and you got the, uh, got everybody here, and it looks a lot like the, the box set that the actual um, uh, Star Wars came in, and so that was really cool, like, so it has all three Blu-rays. And uh, I never thought I'd be getting these on Blu-ray at all, but it was pretty cheap for the Blu-rays. And it has awesome cover art, you know? Like, that is, is the the original poster of the the uh, of the first film, you know? And it pretty much just copies all of them, but they're awesome. Check them out if you have not seen them. Or if you're a fan of Family Guy, you know, you'll definitely love it. Okay. Next thing I got was Anchorman, a really funny movie. I've always loved this film. Uh, the only reason I got it was because uh, Dinner for Schmucks and this together, I saved like 10 bucks plus I got like a $5 gift card. So that was really cool. And it's a really cool edition, the, ma the Rich Mahogany edition. So it's actually like a little thick, thick, uh, you know, Blu-ray edition. And I think it comes with the book. Um, again, uh, like I said, I got dinner for schmucks, and you know it's not it's not the best comedy I've ever seen, but it wasn't bad. Um, you know, could have been a lot better, but you know, for what it was, I knew going in it was gonna be stupid. That's what I expected. It was just a stupid movie, and that's what I got. But I I enjoyed it. You know. It's not like I didn't. It, it was it was okay. You know, it was pretty good. Um, the next the next two I've been wanting to hold out because I really want to show off the stuff I got with it. Elf, um, Elf was hilarious. It's one of my favorite Will Ferrell movies. Um, and you know it, Elf. It's just uh, <laughs> it really gets you in the mood for Christmas, even though it's January. I'll still watch this movie. One thing I got with this, though, was this tin edition. So it came with the tin, and inside there's like a stocking, and um, the stocking, and it like has a CD sampler and some cards and things like that. Um, it's really good. I love this movie, so I had to get this, you know. The next thing I got was, uh, you know, Christmas Vacation, classic film. I had never seen this, and I just, I fell in love with it. This also came with a tin, which I don't know where it's at right now, but I will show it to you guys one day. Um, definitely, it was really awesome. I love this movie, so check it out if you've never seen this. 
Uh, the next thing I got was Inception, uh, Steelbook Edition. Uh, you know, beautiful cover art. I really, really love this cover. It's beautiful. Um, and it, it's the two disc or three disc edition of Inception. Comes with the movie, the uh, digital copy, and, and the DVD. And it was a FYE exclusive, but it was it's one of my favorite films of 2010. Next thing I got was The Goonies. All-time favorite film of my childhood, The Goonies. Uh, also came with a box set. Now I promise you guys, I will show you this. I'll show you that in a separate video. Um, I just do like a box set video set thing. But this was one of my favorite films of all time. Um, Goonies, just classic, you know, chunk and everybody. Awesome film. The next thing I got was Simpsons season six. Um, if you guys go back to one of my old, old videos that I did, you'll see that I did, I panned through my, my, uh, you know, Simpsons section, and I have this edition of it, and I just completely hated the way it looked. I just hated it. Um, I don't know, for me, it was an eyesore just sticking out, you know, like a sore thumb. So, for the longest time, it was bugging me, and I really wanted to get this, so... I finally just got this one, and uh, it was only like five bucks on Amazon. I don't know on uh, eBay. Found it for five bucks. Pretty, it's used, but it's pretty new. Um, so yeah, finally I can actually have my complete set with the with the regular spine, and it's gonna look really nice. Next thing I got for uh, fifteen bucks, I think at Best Buy, I got Harsh Times. I didn't even know this was out until like last week one of my favorite Christian like this this honestly not a lot of people have heard about this film and I I watched it and I, I fell in love with it uh, Christian Bell plays like this homeboy uh, from LA you know he's like uh, he's embraced by the Chicano culture over there and um, I don't know dude like Seriously, Christian Bale is definitely a character actor. He can play anything you put in front of him. He's a great, great, you know, actor. Please check this out if you've never seen this. Harsh Times, I recommend it highly. The writer of Training Day wrote this and directed, and it's really, really good. I, I'm very shocked and that I, I love this so much. But it's, it's definitely good. Uh, the next thing I got was The Town. I fell in love with this film so much. Um, even though I'm a, a Yankee fan and everything, when I saw this, you know, I gotta give it up to my Boston people because it was really, really good. Ben Affleck, I think he's actually overrated yet underrated at the same time because a lot of people, because he's such a big actor, think he can't make a serious drama or direct or anything. He proved that with Gone Baby Gone and with The Town. And it's really good. It's one of my few favorite films, honestly. About bank heists and robberies and all that. It's really, really good. Next thing I got was Wall Street. Um, I hate it when they put that sticker there because when you peel it off, as careful as you want to be, gonna tear off some stuff but I honestly don't have anything to say about this except that it's terrible one of my favorite directors is Oliver Stone and this is terrible I'm really shocked that he even made this film um, I guess it, it stands up on its own it doesn't really need you don't even need to watch part one uh, because everything's kind of explained in, part, in this one but um, you know, I, I, I saw Eli Walsh in it, and literally throughout the whole film, I was like, why is he in this? You know, the man is old. He played, uh, Tuco Ramirez in Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and he's a fantastic actor, but literally, I was watching this, and I was saying, what is he doing in this? It was not good. 
I really do not recommend this film at all. Um, one of the the year's like worst films, definitely. I got the fourth kind. Never saw this. I had seen a little bit of it, and I was really interested, so I wanted to, you know, finish it. Finally got it on Blu-ray. It was really good until up until the fact that I found out that it's, nothing of it is true. So the whole time they're telling you it's true and it's, you know, they found real footage and all this and. I just really hate when they do that, when they say this is a true movie, a true story, and it's all fabricated. You know, it was disappointing, it's good, going into the fact, if you're not, if you already know that this isn't true, it's pretty good, you know, but uh, they really had me thinking it was a true story and everything, and it turns out it's not, so what are you going to do? Uh, next thing I got was the El Mariachi and Desperado. Uh, these got released what, uh, yesterday or two days ago. And uh, one of my favorite films, Robert Rodriguez. This is what made him famous, El Mariachi. He made that for $7,000, which inspired me to make movies also, you know? If he can make it for that cheap, I know I can do stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely one of my favorite films. Uh, Robert Rodriguez is one of my favorite directors. He's just inspirational to me. So, really, check this out if you've never seen it. One of my favorite films. Last but not least, we got Machete. And this was definitely... What do you expect from it? You know, like, you just go in knowing that it's going to be tits and guns and nothing else. You know, that's all it is. And, um... It's kind of weird saying that right after I just talked about this movie. But this is all, that's all it is, you know, like, uh, Robert Rodriguez directed this, and, um, it's, it's based on his trailer that he made for the Grindhouse films. And you know what? It's just a badass action movie. Kind of like the Ex Expendables. You don't expect a real good story out of it. It's just guns. And that's all you really want to see, and this is all this is. So... I recommend it on that basis. Don't go into this film thinking that it's going to be a great, you know, story, movie, whatever. It's just a kick-ass, you know, like, raunchy action movie. That's all it is. And that's all I have to say about everything else. Literally, I have a sea of Blu-rays and DVDs right in front of me. There was over 50 titles. I don't know how long this video is anymore. But all I know is that it's going to be cut up into parts. So you guys can watch it. Thank you guys for waiting so long. You've been so patient. And you know I just hit 1,200 subscribers. So I thought that was really awesome. Um, guys, and the Inception results will be coming very soon. Once I get my hands on a printer and print out all the names and you know do all the raffle. You know, I'll do the, I'll do it, I'll do it then, just, I can't do it right now. And, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.